to another episode of Cooking with Dorothy. Tonight we are whipping up, I guess that sounds weird, cooking with me. <laughs> but tonight we're going to whip up some complete truth protein banana chocolate chip pancakes. It took me a minute there because last week we made banana chocolate chip muffins. <laughs> but to shorten that up, we say CTP pancakes. <laughs> but they're banana chocolate chip pancakes. Anyway, that was a lot of information all at one time. <laughs> all right, Drew. Drew's here, too. He's behind the camera, of course, and he'll be answering any questions that come in. If you are tuning in, give us a hello so that we can say hi back. And any questions that you may have about anything we talk about tonight or something that we don't address, let us know, and we'll be happy to answer all of your questions here live. We got quite a few people coming in. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, yeah, I'm here too. I'm rocking the mic behind the computer. Who do we got in here, Drew? We have Louise is here. Hey, Louise. Susan is here. Hey, Susan. Sue, I should Sue. say. Swamp Lil Sue. I Sue. So I apologize. I don't know why you find that so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Sue. And then we have Chantel. She said, hi, Drew and Dorothy. I got a little shout out, too. What's up? We have another. We have a, a few other people in here. So if you guys are here, let us know. And if and, you don't want to, then that's cool, too. Yeah, and Drew really liked hearts. So <laughs> <laughs> on our Friday live show, didn't we get to, like, 250? 250. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy, though. But uh, if you're liking what we have going on, give us a little heart because uh, Drew really likes those. <laughs> Gets me excited. It does. So I'm these pancakes we do all the time in our monthly membership. Drew and I make them every couple weeks on the weekends usually, and they're fantastic. And what I really like is that there's only a few ingredients you need. So if you're kind of scrambling... And with getting your ingredients together, I'll just go through what we need here. You'll need CTP, of course, and cinnamon. Vanilla isn't in the recipe, but I like to add the vanilla. One egg, chocolate chips, uh, or my CTP baking powder, baking soda is already in the bowl. And then I have a banana and the almond milk already in the blender. So pretty simple ingredient list, things that you should already have in the home. If you haven't subscribed to Cooking with Dorothy yet, you should do so. Drew will put the link Doing below it right now. in the comments. Subscribe because you will get the recipes before the show so you can make these along with us. Uh, it is pretty hot again tonight. I'm reconsidering the timing of baking, <laughs> our baking segment, because, wow, in the evening it is tough to put on the oven in this heat. But if you are baking along with us tonight... Put that oven at 350 right away, and you're probably thinking, my gosh, why am I putting my oven on if I'm making pancakes? But we'll get to that later on. So grab your ingredients, turn the oven to 350 if you're baking along with us. If not, just sit back and enjoy me whipping up some pancakes. <laughs> so we have a couple comments here. James Carpenter's... <laughs> James Carpenter waved hello. Hey, James. And then Tina Thomas is in here. She said, hi, Drew and Dorothy. Hey, Tina. Thanks for tuning in. And then Louise said, they are the best pancakes ever. They are so good. I could not agree more with you, Louise. <laughs> My apologies, guys. Keep the comments coming. I am watching for comments. I usually drag them on the screen, as most of you know. But I can't do that. It's not showing up Aww. in our program. So it's a bit disappointing, but... Yeah, that's that's true state of heart. <laughs> <laughs> that is technology. But I'll be watching for comments, so keep them coming, and we were going to have a blast tonight. Uh, Drew, a couple things before we get started. One was our draw. Do we announce the winner now or at the end? We announce it at the end. Okay. See, I have to. It's a good thing I have, like, a buddy system here. <laughs> I did the cooking show by myself. I would forget these things. So last <laughs> week, what happened to I flipped the Instagram camera on me. Oh, okay. We'll keep rolling here on Facebook. Instagram story, you had to see Drew's face. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. We got Mandy in here. Hey, Mandy. And then oh, we, right here? Instagram. Yeah. Hey, Mandy. And then last school gymnastics. Hey. L.A. school gymnastics, sorry. L.A. gymnastics. Hey, guys. We're whipping up some 
Complete Truth Protein banana chocolate chip pancakes. So stay tuned and watch the magic happen. <laughs> Our draw for... Sorry, let me refocus here. <laughs> that didn't work, Dennis! Pull it together. <laughs> we Last week, the prize was Breathe Love by Jenny Lee, who was on Drew's radio show, Exploring Mind and Body. So we have a winner for that book, which we will announce at the end of this show. If you're tuning in tonight, the draw is going to be for a gift card to our friend Dylan's restaurant. Dylan is an amazing chef. His restaurant is called Rancher's Castle, and it's actually in Noka, Alberta. And so if you're around the old area, or I, I know Tina, Chantelia, and Edmonton, it's definitely worth the drive to Panoka, to his restaurant. We always tell him that he should be in in a bigger city, or a, or an old, we'd love him to have a restaurant in Olds, but his food is fantastic. He's an amazing chef. So we'll be giving away a gift card for, what was the amount, Joe? $25, right? $25. For Rancher's Castle. For Rancher's Castle in Pinoca. So stick around until the end. The answer is into the draw for that one. It's a good one. Yeah. All right. Are we ready to get started? I'm ready. Okay. Well, let's rock and roll here. I'm going to do the dry ingredients first. All right. So in my bowl already, I've got the CTP. So you want a cup in a... Uh, a full cup, and then one-third of a cup of CTP. That's a little bit too much. Then all you need to do is substitute for a gluten-free flour of your choice. Sometimes it it just converts one-to-one -one with complete truth protein. So if you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to use a cup and one-third of my CTP, you could, if you wanted to, use a half a cup of something else, for example. But, of course, the nutrient value won't be the same. Because um, complete truth protein is packed full of nutrients. You have your all your macros. So you have your healthy fats, your complex carbs, you have fiber. What did I miss, Drew? I missed one. I'm sorry. I'm looking at all our hearts. We got over 100. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, you guys. 100 hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you have your healthy fats, oh, protein. your proteins. Complete truth protein. I missed it. So it, we complete truth protein because hemp and quinoa is the two ingredients, which are both complete plant-based proteins. So that's why we... It's complete fruit protein. Because yeah. they're both proteins. <laughs> anyway, so we have that in the bowl. We have baking soda. So you'll want a half a teaspoon baking soda and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So that's all in there. The only thing I'm missing from my dry ingredients is some cinnamon. The recipe calls for... Half a teaspoon of cinnamon, but I like a little bit more. So I'm going to put a full teaspoon with the spices. You can get a little bit crazy with the spices. Well, crazy. <laughs> Maybe I should say creative <laughs> instead of crazy. But you can get a little creative. You could add in some nutmeg would go nice. Um, cardamom would go nice. All spice is a good one, too, because it's a combo of all of them. So those are all really nice spices for pancakes. So I'm just going to mix that all up. Dawn jumped in here. She said, hey, guys. Hey, Dawn. Thanks for tuning in, Dawn. Yes. We are whipping up some CTP pancakes. They are. And, you know, it's so such a quick way to, uh, to make something a bit different. So my dry ingredients are ready to go. I'm just going to put them to the side. I'm going to grab my wet ingredients. So it's very convenient and quick to cook your wet ingredients. Cook your wet ingredients, that didn't make sense. <laughs> Whip up your mix up your wet ingredients in a blender. And I've already got the bananas whipped up at the bottom there. I, I did those, I whipped those up first. And then I just threw the milk on top, or poured it on top. <laughs> so a cup of milk, two bananas. Just watch the size of your bananas because... If they are small, medium bananas, you'll want about two. But some bananas are big. They're huge. So if you have a big, giant banana, uh, just use one. So those are already in there. We're going to throw in some vanilla. This isn't in the recipe, but it is quite a nice addition. But you don't need it. But if you want it, throw it in there. All right. And then let's talk about eggs for a minute. 
the recipe calls for one egg, and eggs are uh, one of the things that people, some people are allergic to, one of the top allergens. If eggs aren't a concern, by all means, throw your egg in there. But a lot of times I hear from people, oh, there's egg in that, can't have that. But all you need to do is grab some brown chia seeds or some brown flax seeds and make your own flax or chia egg. And it's so easy to do. And that way, if you come across a recipe with egg in it, that's all you've got to do to replace the egg. Or if you want to add a little bit more nutrient quality with chia seeds and flax seeds, then you can do it that way too. It's super easy. And the easiest way I remember it is this. So you take, now I have to be careful what I say here. <laughs> you take a tablespoon of, it's, it's a three to one. So you would take some, oh man, now I can't remember you guys. But it's, uh, you take a tablespoon of flax seed, chia seed, ground. So you want it to be ground up. And then you take three teaspoons of water. See, I really had to think about that, but that's it. <laughs> so a tablespoon of your ground flax or your ground chia and three teaspoons of water. That's all. And then you just mix it up until it's like an egg-like consistency. Sometimes I like to add a little bit more water if it's a bit chunky or something. You know, cooking healthy is always a little bit of variation. But uh, that's how you could make a eggless egg. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? An eggless egg. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to crack my egg and put it on in there. And then I'm going to just blend it up for you guys. So I'm going to turn my back to you real quick here. Sorry about that. Maybe we need it. Oh, did you see that leaky? It's a little leaky. <laughs> we have 170 hearts. Woo! That's awesome, you guys. <laughs> Ronalyn's in here on Instagram. Hey, Ronalyn. And then Cassidy is as well. Hey, Cassidy. We're whipping up complete truth protein pancakes. These are banana chocolate chip pancakes. Fan favorite. Even the kids love them. My little nephew, Emmett, he just is a maniac, and he eats these puppies up. One of our members... Shauna, her grandson, he, Max, he just eats these pancakes up too. So good for, for the whole family, for sure. I'm just going to whip this up, so bear with me for a second. I pre-did the uh, bananas, so that's why I didn't take so long. <laughs> I pre-whipped those up. Because, guys, I never know, like, what to do while the blender's going. Maybe you guys can leave that in the comments. What should Dorothy do with the blender's going? Should I sing? Should I dance? <laughs> should I yodel? <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't get crazy Don't now. Don't get crazy. <laughs> that would be funny. All right. Let's whip these up now. Now, I'm always careful when I'm doing the wet ingredients into the CT pancakes, CTP pancakes, uh, and not... To, I just want to caution you not to throw all the wet stuff in at a time. Sometimes, depending on the size of the banana and other things, consistency-wise, sometimes you don't need all of the wet ingredients. So just be cautious there. Don't throw it all in at once. Before I throw in the wet ingredients, I'm going to throw my chocolate chips. So this is a quarter cup of chocolate chips. As we all know in previous shows, Truth thinks a half a cup is too much chocolate chips. <laughs> Don't need too many chocolate chips. We had Vanda that jumped in here. She said, hello there. And hi, Vanda. Hey, Vanda. And then we, Louise said, no yodeling. No yodeling. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. Thank you very much. Uh, one thing I did want to mention before I whip this up to is we don't put any sweeteners in, in this recipe. So... You will notice we didn't put any honey or maple syrup or anything like that. And that's because we feel that the sweetness of banana is enough. The banana is a natural sweetener. But by all means, if you're, if you're wanted a bit sweeter, you could add a couple of tablespoons of honey or a couple of tablespoons of maple syrup. 
Also, another reason that we think that you, it's not really necessary to put sweetener in the batter is because you put syrup on top. You know, traditional pancakes have white sugar, white refined sugar in them, and then you go and slap on a bunch of syrup on top. And usually, it's not pure maple syrup. Usually, it's a uh, syrup concoction of other things. Syrup-ish. <laughs> syrup, syrup -ish But anyway, that's why we chose not to put a sweetener into, into the batter. But you could if needed. All right, Drew, we're all ready to whip up the batter here. Okay, let me... Um Read off here. Don said, yum, my fa my kid's favorite. Oh, I'm so happy they like it, Don. And then then it said, I subscribed to Cook Cooking with Dorothy Drew last week, but I haven't gotten any emails. Sorry to hear that, Vanda. Just check your spam because mm -hmm. you're, I'd imagine you're on a regular newsletter, but every time we send out a different list, it could be an issue. So you have to check your spam just because emails are... Uh, more challenging to get through to customers these days because of all the spam regular companies send yeah. out, unlike us. So it's definitely a challenge. So check your spam and let me know. If it's still not there, I'll double check your name. Yeah. We have 234 hearts. Woo! I think our highest is 250. Let's beat 250. <laughs> uh, there was something else I was going to say. But, oh, if you haven't described, describe, <laughs> subscribe to Cooking with Dorothy yet, then go ahead, do put the link in the comment section. So go ahead, subscribe to Cooking with Dorothy because we will send you the recipes before the show so you know what we're making and you can make it along with us. That's right. Lindsay just jumped in here. Hey, Lindsay! And Sandy's been watching with us too. Lindsay, how's night shift going? <laughs> and Sandy, hello. Oh, I think something stuck on my foot before I was doing this. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. 260 hertz. Woo! We beat Friday show. <laughs> Louise, All right, guys. It's, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Drew. Louise said, I've used this recipe to make waffles, too, in the oven. Have the Epicure waffle pans. Oh, I didn't even know there was waffle pans, but we definitely have to check that out. Yeah, That's I had no idea. Cool. Waffle pans. That's so cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to dump half of my... Liquid. <laughs> What's going on there, Dorothy? It's a new blender, you guys, so I'm still getting used to the new blender. We're becoming friends. Sandy says, hello, I'm watching in silence. <laughs> hey. That's okay, Sandy. You don't have to, to talk to us. You can hang out in silence. It's all good. Lindsay said, oh, it's a busy one. Wish I was making pancakes. <laughs> Well, your CTP's on the way, Lindsay, so you can make pancakes soon. <laughs> so one thing Drew really loves when I'm baking and cooking is how I get stuff all over. <laughs> Everywhere. Uh, oh, I just wanted to show you guys. You know you need to add more liquid, of course, when it's not, um, when it's like chunky still. It should be smooth. So I just gradually add the liquid because sometimes there's too much and you don't want them to be too liquidy. So I just kind of add a little, stir a little, add a little, stir a little until I get the consistency, I, consistency, I'm having trouble with that word, consistency that I want. I like consistency. Consistency? Is that the word you're looking for? Consistency. <laughs> Don't mess with my words, Drew. I have a hard enough time with words. <laughs> so we have a giveaway that is for Rancher's Castle in Pinoca. That's our friend Dylan's restaurant. It's absolutely amazing. So those of you that are coming in and out, stick around till the end. If you're subscribed to the Cooking with Dorothy newsletter or email list and you're watching live, we'll put you in a draw for a free or $25 gift card. And I'm telling you, he will um, amaze you with his food. It's unreal. We had, I think they reset our hearts, guys. We were over 300 hearts. And now I only see six. So I think we like went through the roof with the hearts. <laughs> what do you mean? They could just erase them? I don't know. I just huh. see six here. So maybe they got angry. We gave them too many. We had too many hearts going on. <laughs> 
she drive making some dabbles on Making a mess. Don says, I am not cleaning, Don. Thank you. Don says, get on the cleaning, Drew. <laughs> ah! Get on the cleaning. Hi, Gloria. Thanks for tuning in. Okay. Hey, Gloria. Sorry, delayed. Hello. <laughs> Dorothy's do clearly doing something. Sometimes it's challenging to talk and make some consistency. Yeah. <laughs> That's why, though, Drew, I'm happy that you are here with me because there is just no way I could do the computer stuff and cook at the same time. So it's really nice that Drew's here. He can tell me who's here, the comments, all of that. So it works nice. It Thanks is a for challenge. Being here, Drew. <laughs> it is a challenge when we do our Friday live show. So if you guys can tune in. Um, you guys can tune in Friday mornings as well. We have a different type of Q&A open conversation show. And that does get a bit challenging to talk <laughs> and to run the computer as well. So I'm okay behind the Ooh, camera look at here. this consistency. That's what we're after, you guys. See, not too runny, but like it's a little ploppy, right? It's a little ploppy? But Is that not, a professional word? Not, I can use... The words that I want to. It's cooking with Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I've achieved the consistency that, that we need. And you'll notice there is a little bit of liquid left, liquid left. But you can use this. What we do is we use it in a smoothie. Now, there is an egg in this one, which is, you know, a little controversial, the raw egg thing. So if you're not, not, not um, comfortable... Eat or making a smoothie with, with the raw egg, then of course you, you could discard it. But Drew and I would just put in our smoothie ingredients into that so we wouldn't waste it. All right, Drew, I'm ready to plop them on here. Let me so, read out a couple of comments. Sorry, okay. there's just so much conversation okay. going on. Here. All right, you read out some comments. Don said Dorothy has the best vocabulary. Maybe that's why my kids say such weird things. <laughs> That's a very good point, Don. And Lin <laughs> Lindsay says, do you pay for flights to go to this restaurant, too? Um, no, Lindsay, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your life, We'll Lindsay. buy the meal. <laughs> but we will pay you with a bucket load of fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If, if you come out, Lindsay will buy all your food, not just... Lindsay's in New Brunswick. She's one of my long-time friends. Why'd you stick around so long? <laughs> Very good question, Lindsay. Uh, Chantel said, "Teamwork is teamwork at its best." Thank you, Chantel. Sure, Chantel. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I won't interrupt you I anymore. I just want to explain one thing before that I pour them on. So traditionally, you would get out your frying pan and put the oil in the pan, heat it up, and then cook your like fry your your pancakes up that way. And you can still do that. But Drew and I, well, I shouldn't take the credit for this because it was Drew's creation. Thank you. Thank you very much. But we, were, we had this old pen, and it was not very good for cooking the pancake because it kept sticking. And I got very frustrated in the kitchen this day to the point of a uh, temper tantrum, perhaps. <laughs> you definitely had a temper tantrum. <laughs> and Drew was... Drew said to me, just get out of the kitchen and I will make, I will figure out, like, I need to take over. You go think, chill. Like, go chill out for a minute. So I just left the kitchen and what Drew came up with was baking pancakes. And since that day, that's what we always do is bake our pancakes. So if you haven't tried baking your pancakes, you really should try it. Because there, you can bake a bunch at a time on the sheet, usually in a pan, you can only put one or two pancakes at a time. On a baking sheet, you can put six at a time. And you don't have to stand over it and watch it. You can put them in, and you flip them, and they're done. And the best part is the golden brown when they come out of the oven. Drew, I think, was going to show you guys a picture of, of, of it when they come out of the oven. So that's why we would suggest baking them because it makes more, so more more bang for your buck as in time. You can, you can make more at the same time. And then um, you have, what was it? I don't even remember what I was going to say. You get more out of it and it takes less time. I think it's the top two. 
Yeah, Can let you me just slide that picture over. I'm going to. I just want to jump in here and say that that like baking your pancakes. I'm telling you that if you guys just try them, like give it a shot, you'll probably never go back. And it was just an experiment because I needed to weather the storm of Dorothy's what do you call it fit. And I was like, why can't you why can't you bake pancakes? And um. That's what I did, and we baked them every time now. I wouldn't even consider going back. No. Here's a picture. I'm just going to drag this one on the screen here. And so there's a picture of, you can see at the bottom there, of course, we have CPP in the, in the, in the picture there, but you can see those are baked there. And I'll see if I can find another picture too, but they come out golden. They come out beautiful. You don't have to flip them. You don't have to check them. You just basically put them in the oven and you take them out. It's so easy. Um, and if you go to our website, to the recipe blog, that is, uh, there's a really nice picture of them on there, like super golden brown, just the right thickness. It was really great, the, the ones that turned up there. I want to read a couple of questions here, or sure. comments. Vanda said, I checked my email and got it. Awesome, Vanda. Oh, yay, Vanda. And Lindsay said, have you tried freezing them? We often do bake up a bunch of pancakes and put them in the freezer. They will freeze nicely. And what we do is we pop them in the toaster, so our frozen ones, and then they are good to go the next day. Sometimes if we know we're going to eat them the next day, we'll just throw them in the fridge. And the next morning, same thing. We'll take them out of the fridge, pop them in the toaster, and that heats them up nicely. And uh, then you can have a lot. This recipe... Drew, how many would it make? About six to eight-ish? Depending on the size. Depending on the yeah, size it, of your pancakes. Probably eight, at least eight pancakes. Eight pancakes. So if you have... A good size, too. A good, Yeah, you'll, you'll see in a minute here. But if you are cooking for a larger group, then you might want to consider doubling the recipe. Um, and then if you are just cooking for yourself, and you can throw some in the freezer by all means. That's the great thing about CTP, too, is that a lot of the... Uh, recipes, the muffins, the cookies, the pancakes, the granola, it all freezes really well so that um, you can batch cook. So you can make up big batches, throw in the freezer and pull it out as you need it. So I just got to mention that you guys, like, I think you broke my, oh my gosh, we have 490 um, hearts. hearts. <laughs> Who's doing this? Uh, then there was... Awesome. I could see Vanda's doing some hearts here. Well, everyone, Chantel. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome, you guys. I think you had so many hearts going that like, like it stopped working. It was like, uh, Whoa, I don't know what's crazy. Going on. <laughs> and then Don said, I really love your apron. Oh, thanks, Don. This I, was a gift from Drew. I picked that out myself. He did get this for me. So it was after the first show, and Drew, I didn't have an apron for my first show, and Drew said, Dorothy, I think you need an apron for cooking with Dorothy because it's a cooking show. And I was like, well, I don't, like, yeah, it would be nice, but, you know, we always try to only buy what we need. And I was like, I don't think I totally need one. But he went and he got me one because he thought I should have one for the show. <laughs> so sweet, isn't it? And it's a lovely apron. And it matches my yellow t-shirt tonight. <laughs> okay, you can, you can carry on. All right, we're going to scoop up the pancakes now. And... I just put some parchment paper down on the tray because it's sticking. We have at home actually this little sheet. Drew, how do you describe that sheet, that reusable one? I don't um, know how you describe it. I don't know exactly what you would call it, but... Um, it's like a sheet that you put on... You probably know what I'm talking about. It's like a sheet you put on your cookie sheet and it's reusable, but it's like a non-stick. And we like that because you don't have to keep throwing away parchment paper. You can just keep reusing. But here at our beach kitchen, we don't have it with us. So, let's scoop them up, Drew. Let's do it. And it is really hot, so I didn't turn the oven on. So I'm just going to throw these in the fridge and we'll bake them in the morning. But I use a quarter of a cup. If you don't like your pancakes that big, you could use a smaller one. Of a cup. Uh, do they have those make their cups? <laughs> and then you're just going to pour Silpet? Lindsay says silicone sheet probably. Oh, probably. 
Probably, yeah. And Louise said Silpat. I don't know what that is. Something like that. <laughs> and then that's all you have to do, guys, is just lock them on. I'll do some more for you so you get the idea. They will get a little bit bigger, but not much, hey, Drew? When they cook? No, they don't get too much. They don't get too much bigger. They don't get too much bigger than this. So this would be if you're like, I don't know portion size. That's why I like to use the quarter of a cup because it gives a nice portion size as well. That's about. I'm saying portion size like five times here, (laughs) but this is a good portion for one pancake size wise. Okay. Um, Also. I like to use the cup because then my pancakes come out roughly the same shape and size. When Drew does this, his pancakes are all different sizes. It's true. That's and how I all roll. different thicknesses because he just pours it on. <laughs> I think we should have original sized pancakes like snowflakes. Oh. <laughs> Louis says mine, mine is called uh, Silpat. Works great. Yeah, we love it. I see. I don't know what ours is called, but it would be very similar. Chantel says it looks good, and we have five hundred and fifty-five hearts. <laughs> I don't know why that excites me so much, but it Drew really loves does. <laughs> so I could have probably put them a little closer together and then gotten about eight on the pen, but that's okay. Mandy just jumped in here. Hey, Mandy. Mandy, we're whipping up banana chocolate chip CTP pancakes. So there you go. And I say I we, wish, I mean Dorothy. I wish I could show you how we bake them, but it is. Uh, I got two pictures. Drew's going to drag some pictures over so you can see how to do that. Let me do it now. But we got six on there. Drew, can you, is it zoomed in enough so they can see yeah, what just, it looks like? Just pull it back. Or you don't I'll pull it back. Probably don't want to lift it, right? No, I don't want to lift it, though. We're running everywhere. Okay, that's good right there. So that's what they look like. And then you just throw them in the oven, and you cook them for how long? See, Drew usually does this part. (laughs) Yeah, I only cook Um, them for about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes, and that's it. They're done. Yeah. So they're nice and golden brown. Mandy says, sounds yummy. They are very yummy. I have some batter left as well, so I could go back and put a little bit more on each pancake or I could make one more pancake but I would probably just do something like this and make each pancake a little bigger so that's six pancakes like I would probably have three of those Dorothy would probably have two two so yeah. if there if there's more than like if you have kids for example or if there's you know you inviting company over for example you probably want to make at least two batches of those yeah, or you can make them a bit smaller, right? Oh, yeah, it's a really good point. You can make them a bit smaller, too. Because I don't know, because we don't have kids. <laughs> but this might be a little bit big for a kid. Okay, so let me drag this big couple pictures on here. Okay. Okay, okay so this is one that we recently had. That was with fresh peaches and... You can see the pancakes, how they turn up. They, they turn out amazing. That's baked. So, again, if you haven't tried baked pancakes, you have to try it. So all we did was slice up peaches and put those next to a couple of those pancakes. You can see they're lightly browned on top. And I actually didn't even flip these ones, I don't think. Usually I cook them for about 15 minutes in the oven, then flip them for about 5 minutes. But from here, you can tell you don't have to do that. And then I'll drag one more over here. And that's what they look like in the oven. They look like giant cookies. Mm. <laughs> and it, like, if I, I can't even express the pictures. Probably don't do them justice. But they are amazing. They look fantastic. So hopefully you can see how good they look from that picture there. They are perfect pancakes. <laughs> perfect pancakes. <laughs> but that's a little trick. Of course, if you want to cook them on, on the stove top and fry them or in a, in a pan, you can, you can do that as well. But we highly suggest trying this out. Once you bake pancakes, I don't think you're going to go back. <laughs> All right, that's it. So, Drew, for wrap-up, we have to announce the... We get to announce. We get to announce that's the winner. Right. 
But I think we should, should we have people tell, tell them, tell us they're still here to be entered into the next week's draw? Yeah. Now or later? No, whichever, we can do it now. Okay. If you're still here and tuning in to be entered into the draw that, the draw for tuning into this show is the gift card. So if you want to be entered into the draw to win, uh, $25 gift card to Rancher's Castle in Pinoca, our friend's restaurant. Mm, so good. Type yeah. in CTP Banana Pancakes. That's the code word. Enter <laughs> into the draw. CTP Banana Pancakes. And then we'll put your name into the draw to win the gift card, and we'll announce at the end of next week's show. Next week, we're going to be whipping up some granola, so stay tuned. Tune in next week. <laughs> wow. To as we cook up the granola. Okay, so you also have to be subscribed to Ooh. Cooking with Dorothy. You can still do that. We're gonna we'll check that tonight, or we'll probably check that tomorrow or the next day. So subscribe to Cooking with Dorothy. We put that in the comments, and then type in CTP Banana Pancakes, and then we'll enter your name into a draw. That's right. And I'm gonna share the screen here. And I'm going to show them here, this is meditation in action. So, what's I, that? I thought it was brief, brief something. Or is it, is it Jenny Lee? Jenny Lee. Yeah, it's actually meditation in action. Oh. Sorry. Oopsies, we got the title wrong last week. <laughs> um, so, meditation in action is what our prize was for tuning in last week. And we have a winner for that book. Yeah, we'll announce that right away. I'm just showing you. This. So this is at exploringmindandbody.com. Many of you know that's our nationally syndicated radio show. So we air locally and we also air across the country. So once in a while we get books sent to us and we like to give them out. So this one here, Meditation in, in Action with Ginny Lee, we're giving that away today. Yeah, right away here. It's important to us to give back. You know, books offer so much information, so much knowledge and and give so much, but when you're we're done a book, oftentimes it just sits on the shelf. So it's important for us to to us, I should say, to share with you guys all all, all the wonderfulness that books give us. So that's why we have been giving away lots of books lately. Um, and the winner, can I announce true? You can announce, yeah. The winner for meditation in action is two. <laughs> So Yay. congratulations to you won Meditation in Action by Jenny Lee, and we will get back to you soon. That's right. I did want to mention real quick that you can. we have a free app for Exploring Mind and Body. It's only on Apple devices right now, but you can subscribe. And it's also on Spotify, for example. We're on Stitcher. We're on iTunes. So if you subscribe or, or download the shows, those all really help us. Um those really help us move up the ranks and be more easily found as a show. So we certainly appreciate those. Yeah, for sure. And it's great. It's so convenient to have Exploring Mind and Body app when you're at the gym or when you're, you're driving. You can hook it into to your vehicle and listen to it. Or if you're running at the gym or working out at the gym, you can listen to it. And Or just going for a walk outside or a bike ride. It's, it's very convenient to have it. It'll actually show you which ones you've already listened to. So that you know, um, so, so you don't double listen to a show unless you want to. And then it also downloads the new ones, right? It keeps you up current with, with the new shows. So it's a great app for sure. So we'll get, congratulations, we'll get that book to you. And please make sure that you commented CTP pancakes, banana pancakes in the comments to be entered into our draw for next week. Yeah, we have, in case, I'll just read out your names real quick here. We have Chantel. These are the people that entered in CTP Banana Pancakes. So we have Chantel, Susan Matthews, Louise, Vanda, Mandy. And then everyone's saying, you guys are awesome. They guess everyone's saying congrats, Sue. Chantel said congrats, Sue. Louise said congrats, Vanda. Sue said thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Sue. Yeah, thanks so much for tuning in, Sue. We really appreciate you coming in just about every week. Yeah. I, I, I believe. Yes. Yeah. And then a number of you other, like Louise is in here, Chantel's in here. So we so much appreciate your support. We have over 600 hearts. That is amazing, <laughs> you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate it. I think we can wrap it up. 
yeah, we'll wrap up. So we'll leave that with you guys now. I'm going to throw these pancakes in the fridge. And I'm going to cook them up in the morning when it's not so hot. Next week, tune in. Same day, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And we'll be whipping up some Complete Truth Protein Granola. So stay tuned for that. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you guys.